we're going to talk about how you hold your guitar to play it most comfortably and hand position. This is a little tricky, so just bear with me for a moment, and as we're in class together, I can answer any questions you have. But uh, generally, with our guitars, um, we're not going to be holding them in a strictly classical position. I know they're classical guitars, and there are reasons why they want the neck to be kind of on this angle, and they're generally in classical guitar position. Your, your face is, your eyes are very close to the frets like this. Um, when we're in class, that's not absolutely necessary. It's tough to get that position without some kind of a stool to put your foot on. And so for our class purposes, we're going to use the waist on the bottom of the guitar, set it on our right leg. Now if you're left-handed, it would be your left leg, so just transpose everything uh, for that. And the neck of the guitar can just be pretty much horizontal with the floor. You don't have to have it up at an angle for our class. And um, this is more of a flat top steel string guitar picking position or an acoustic guitar picking position. But it works fine with the classical guitars and will make it easy for you to uh, get your fingers to the right positions. As far as the hand position on the neck of the guitar, you want your thumb to be on the back of the neck pointed toward the sky. You don't want it over like this because you lose your pressure to push the strings down. So you want your thumb to be about behind the first fret, first second fret in this position and point it toward the sky. That'll give you the most strength to push down the strings. Your fingers on your left hand will be used to push down the frets. That's for both chords and for playing lead guitar. And so we only number those four fingers on our left hand starting with the index finger one, two, three, four. And that's how we'll indicate which finger to use to push down the frets. So if I say, for instance, use your first finger to push down the first fret on the first string, you're going to push down right here. First finger, first fret, first string. The strings we count from littlest to biggest. So it would be first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. This is the position that we'll want you to use in class with your fingers curved unless you're making a special chord called a bar chord where you would lay your finger flat. And that's a more advanced chord that we will talk about later in class. But most of the time, for most of the, the uh, chords and notes that we're playing in class, you want your fingers to be curved like this. And I have a little gift to share with you to help strengthen your fingers uh, this is a section that will make it helpful at this time if you do some exercises and they show you some exercises in the book on page 9 but uh, we're going to show you some exercises and provide a gift to help you strengthen your fingers so they can get used to pushing down notice how my fingers push down straight down into the fretboard that's how you get the best tone pushing straight down in you don't want your fingers like this or they'll mute they'll mute some of the notes. They'll prevent you from hearing sound from some of the notes. And the other hint that I can share with you is you want your finger to push down just to the left of the little metal fret. Watch what I mean. The best tone is produced right there. If you go up on the fret, it doesn't sound as good. If you go to the left, it's actually a different tone and it may just buzz like that. So you want to slide your finger over to where it's just to the left. I can almost feel the fret with my finger. I'm just right up against it on the left on the left edge. That's where you get the best sound. That's what we're looking for in this class. Thumbs on the back, pointed toward the ceiling. Fingers are curved, pushing straight down into the fretboard. The tone is produced most clearly with your finger just to the left of the fret for the note you're playing. Notice we count this distance in here as fret number one, fret number two, fret number three, etc. Doesn't matter which string you're pushing down, if I'm in this area between here and here, we refer to that as fret number three, fret number two is here, fret number one is here. 
And um, most of the notes we're going to be learning in this first section of our class are going to be notes where your hand will always be in this position with your thumb staying in the same place. Uh, I like to think about it like having it super glued down on the back of the neck because all the work I'm going to be doing for the first few weeks of class is to learn these notes in this position which I will refer to as the home position. Your hand goes right there when we get started. Later on we'll learn how to move up and recognize the notes higher up on the neck. But for now we're going to confine ourselves to the home position to learn some initial notes and scales that will get us started more quickly and easily.